Hello and welcome to Romantic Renewal, your journey to lasting relationships. Our topic today is handling anger. Sean Donovan here with Mahesh Trivedi. And remember, if you haven't already, to click the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of new videos. So communication, it's an everyday event. As we discovered in the last lesson, it's especially important during times of stress. And it's also crucial when children are a part of the family. Regardless of how good your communication is, someone will get angry at some point. So in this lesson, we'll learn the real reason people get angry the different ways people can respond to anger and the differences in how people handle their own anger. So Mahesh, what is the true cause of anger? Thanks, Sean. The anger is the result of loss. Um, it is the second stage of grief cycle so most people think of grief cycle being related to death a tragedy or the end of relationship so you can experience grief at any loss such as a job money things or even safety so when you and your partner are angry think about what you lost so this is where you begin your conversations so um sean what could be some ideas to consider at this stage uh thanks mahesh yeah. yes there's a couple of ideas come to mind there are additional feelings yeah hiding beneath the anger. These are the feelings to discuss when you're engaged in reflective listening that we talked about before. Fear yeah. is often hiding beneath anger. Fear yes. has you feeling weak and powerless, while anger has you feeling strong. Sadness can also hide beneath anger. Sadness has usually been present for a while before anger surfaces. And jealousy can also be beneath the anger. Jealousy, however, is more connected to the fear of losing something or someone. And the second thing that comes to mind is that anger is a strong emotion. So treat it gently. You may need some cooling off time before you sit down and discuss your anger. But just be sure that you do sit down and talk about it. <clears throat> so, Mahesh, your turn now. What are yeah. <laughs> different ways that people cope with their own anger? So Sean, there are basically two ways, um, like just giving with, with some insights and tips that some people express their anger by exploding. Like anger can produce a fear if the other person is afraid of being harmed. So if you are fearful of being hurt, go to a place of safety. Many people who express their anger in an explosive manner are often no, no longer angry afterwards. If this, you might want to let them vent as long as you feel safe. Okay, the second, the other extreme to exploding is holding your anger within you. So you bury it inside 
until something forces the anger to break through. So for some, their anger eventually becomes explosive. For others, their anger can turn inwards to depression and even self -harm. So as you and your partner come to know each other, you will come to recognize that you are angry and as soon as you recognize those signs it's a time to set an appointment with each other to use reflective listening to sort through the emotions so all right great i was making some notes there as, as we were talking so um yeah <clears throat> there are also differences in how people talk about their anger so for example, if I say, I'm going to tell everyone about what you did to me. Some people do need to vent to someone else so that they won't say something to their partner that they can't take back. The best person to vent to is a third party person you can trust completely. You don't want your relationship typically spread across the world like feathers in a strong breeze. If you need to vent, remember that the people you vent to don't know when everything's okay. If these are friends and family members, be sure and keep them updated so they don't hold on to their anger at your partner. And secondly, you might say, I'm not going to tell anyone about my anger. Yes. And they often don't tell themselves about their anger. So again back to one of our earlier lessons remember the jahari window they hide their anger in yeah. <laughs> the unknown to self but known to others window or the unknown to everyone window so when you're not aware of your own anger you can't talk about that anger you can however discuss with your partner the other feelings which are present the anger will often come to the surface as your talking about the other feelings so Mahesh mm. when do you talk about your anger so as as important as anger is to discuss you and your partner could be at odds as to when to talk about it so some people need to pull off before they discuss their anger they may need from an hour to a day before they are able to discuss it. If this person is forced to sort everything out immediately, this can increase the, their frustrations and anger. So, so <laughs> tell us a little bit yeah. about that. Tell us a little bit about that. So what steps when the two of you are at odds? when to talk about the source of the yeah. anger. Yeah, so Sean, the, there are mainly two main steps when two of you are at odds as to when to talk about the source of the anger. Number one, set an appointment with each other for the discussion. Um, this may be difficult for the person who wants to talk about the things right now but it will relieve some of the inner tension because they know exactly when they can talk about it and second is if you if you want to talk right now you will benefit from some activities to relieve the inner stress so take as long as you need for some deep breathing you may find some relief from your inner tension by journaling and getting the words on paper will also help you sort through your own feelings and be prepared for the upcoming discussion you can also take a walk read a book listen to music watch a movie or find another way to distract yourself until it's the time. So 
it's important that two of you sort through the cause causes of the anger and may you may want to ignore what happened but that can weaken your relationship okay thanks mahesh so just to summarize <clears throat> anger is a sign of loss people express their anger in different ways they may explode withdraw stuff it or even deny that it happened the important step is to set aside time to sort it all out so that it doesn't fester and weaken your relationship in our next lesson we'll learn that what people think they are upset about isn't it at all we'll learn some techniques to discover what the true source of our emotional discomfort is again before you go on take some time to reflect on what we have explored in this lesson and remember too to click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when new videos become available so again thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time